Our aim is to determine which common liquids will get rid of the freezing up effect of the cornstarch water mixture. Our hypothesis is that the corn oil will get rid of the freezing up effect of the cornstarch water mixture by separating the water from the cornstarch. Since the cornstarch is less dense than water and oil, it will float on top of the oil, water being on the bottom, separating the cornstarch and the water in the cornstarch water mixture. This therefore will get rid of the freezing up effect of the cornstarch water mixture. Our materials are cornstarch, sugar, oil, baking soda, milk, salt, vinegar, a measuring cup, a big bowl, and some water. First put 59 ml of water and 118 milliliters of cornstarch. This solution was then tested to see if it froze up when pounded. Next, 5 milliliters of each common liquid was added to the mixture. After that, the solution was pounded again to see if it still froze up. Observations were recorded. Finally, this process was repeated for each common liquid until all of them were tested. After we did our experiment, we recorded our observations onto a chart. When we added salt to the cornstarch water mixture, we found that it looked the same. It later sunk to the bottom. It got rid of most of the freezing up effect, but some was still left. When we added sugar to the cornstarch water mixture, we found that it also looked the same, and it later also sunk to the bottom. It got rid of most of the freezing up effect, but some was still left. When we added vinegar to the cornstarch water mixture, we found that it looked the same. It got rid of the freezing up effect. When we added milk to the cornstarch water mixture, we also found that it looked the same. The freezing up effect didn't go away. When we added corn oil to the cornstarch water mixture, at first the two liquids were separated, but later as we started to mix it, the oil started to form into tiny oil bubbles. The freezing up effect was still there, in fact it got much stickier. When we added baking soda to the cornstarch water mixture, we found that it looked the same. It later sunk to the bottom. It got rid of most of the freezing up effect, but some was still left. The salt, sugar, vinegar, and baking soda got rid of the freezing up effect, while milk and corn oil did not. The salt, sugar, and baking soda in the cornstarch water mixture later sunk to the bottom. Even after adding salt, sugar, vinegar, milk, or baking soda, the cornstarch water mixture looked the same. However, corn oil formed tiny oil bubbles on top of the cornstarch water mixture. Since oil did not get rid of the freezing up effect of the cornstarch water mixture, the hypothesis was proven incorrect. In the future, a similar experiment can be conducted by putting a smaller amount of common liquids into the cornstarch water mixture to see which common liquid has the strongest effect. Furthermore, since some measurements were not totally accurate, another experiment can be conducted with more accurate measurements. There are many ways we can use this experiment and apply it to our lives. For example, after doing some research, we found out that vinegar mixed with cornstarch and water can be a great blackhead remover. Salt mixed with cornstarch water can also be made into Play-Doh used for children or just any types of arts and crafts. The new facts we learned from this experiment is that cornstarch water mixture is a suspension. Our two physical science concepts are types and uses of chemical reactions as well as 
non-miscible and miscible liquids. As we said earlier, one of our physical science concepts was the types and uses of chemical reactions. Now, you might be wondering how this relates to our project. Well, we used this experiment to find out what would happen when we mixed two things together. And after this, we went online and found many different types of uses for the solutions that we made in our experiment. You might also be wondering why we included non-miscible and miscible liquids as one of our two physical science concepts. Well, we want to see which common liquids would be able to mix with cornstarch and water and which would not. As it turns out, most of the common liquids we tested ended up being able to mix with the cornstarch water mixture. However, oil did not mix. Therefore, in this experiment, it is classified as a non-miscible liquid. Stop! I have a new school. I'll use vinegar, milk, oil, salt. Faster! Sorry. Again. We had to say, um, our, uh, our, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this in the, in the blooper section. No. <laughs> our experiment was on how, I heard Nick say, <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Wait, our experiment, um, our hypothesis. Stop making that face. Let's start over. We have no time, we have no time. Ah! I go. Can I just do it now? <laughs>